In our previous video, we have seen how to handle our web, web application whenever there is partial data getting loaded on our web page by making use of resolver. So in this video, let's see how we can make use of the links which we are going to navigate over here on the web application. I want to understand that, see, I am located in create event now currently, right? Now, if I go back to all events, I have to make sure that this gets highlighted. So the active page of our application, wherever we are navigating to, should get highlighted whenever we navigate between these links. Okay, let's see how we can do that. Let's switch to Visual Studio Code. So, so before, before going further, make sure that inside event.service.ts, in our previous video where we have set for 2000 milliseconds, make sure it is changed for 100 so that our application will get loaded soon. If you are placing 200 or 2000 over here, it will take time to load the page completely. We did that in order to make sure that how our resolver service works, we wanted to see. So we had set for 2000 milliseconds previously. So make sure it is saved with 100 milliseconds. Okay. Now let's open navbarcomponent.html. So here is where we have all these links, right? So if you observe our web application, the nav bar which is located on top of our web application here on the web page, all events, create event, event. These are the links which we have provided on our nav bar. So we are going to mo modify navbar.component.html. So what we have to modify, we have to modify in such a way that whenever I'm, I'm located inside all events, this has to get highlighted. This link has to get highlighted. And whenever I'm navigating to other link, that link has to get highlighted. So it, the current page which has been loaded over here, that particular corresponding link has to get highlighted. Okay, let's handle that now. So to do that, what we have to do, we have to introduce, we have to introduce CSS styling over here. So introduce CSS styling before that, for that particular link, we have to make sure it is in active state. So how to check that? How to check whether it is an active state? Let's see now, okay? So inside our router link, wherever we have provided slash events over here for all events link. See, this is the A, this is the anchor tag, right? For all events. All events is the link which is provided over here on the web page. To understand that we are located on all events and we want to highlight it, let's make use of router link active, okay? So along with this router link, we have to make sure we include router link active router link active this should be equal to active okay. so same way i want to apply even for the create event page so let's copy this and paste it over inside here as well okay yep. and save the changes now if we reload the web page let's Compile it again to make sure that the changes are applied successfully. Let's clear, sorry. Let's save these changes. Let's clear the console terminal. Okay. Let's compile this by making use of npm space start. Let's run this project. So it's building the modules got compiled successfully and hosted on localhost colon 400. Now, if we open this link, okay, you can see that the all events create event still, it is not showing the highlighted one, highlighted color. Why? Because we have not at all applied CSS styling for this. Yes, we have indicated here saying that router link, if it is active equals active, this we have applied for this router link, that is fine. But we have to indicate in such a way that whenever this is applied, CSS styling has to be applied for it. In a way that we'll change the color or the background color as well as the link color. Whenever it is active, we want to see those changes. Okay, so to do that inside our TS, navbar.comprehend.ts, let's introduce that styling over here. Okay. So here I want to apply on, this is LI, right? So LI and A. LI a dot active okay when it is active i want to apply a color over here okay i want to apply hash 0 f 0 5 fd 5 4 okay 
how how i got this code is you can search all this colors code by making use of html color codes dot com okay html color codes dot com here you can find all the colors whichever you want based on the color you select over here you will get this hex code okay you just copy this hex code and paste it over here and paste it in your code so that that will be applied for this okay similarly i want to indicate with a background as well along with the text color so background hyphen color i want to apply line b phi 9 b6 okay that's it let's save these changes and let's navigate to our web application okay let's close this now you can see over here whenever i am in all events link since this is active you can see the background color getting displayed as well as the link color getting changed these are the color codes which are applied over here right so whenever this page is active all events this is getting highlighted with these colors now i'll navigate to create event so if you observe create event this is getting highlighted and link got highlighted but you can see the problem over here whenever i am navigating to other link this link highlight should be disappeared because i am currently located over here right not here so this also we have to handle it how we can handle it we can handle it by making use of another okay let's make use of router link active options over here see router link active equals active we have already provided over here that is fine so when both are active what is happening slash events it is matching with slash events whenever it is finding slash events it is considering it as active and it is applying all these styles over here which we have provided but what is the difference here we are navigating to slash event slash new for create event only slash events for all events there is a difference over here but angular doesn't know the difference right it will just search for this slash events okay it is located here as well as here so it is applying for both of this whatever the CSS we have specified over here are getting applied for both of them. So in order to avoid that, what we are going to say to Angular that router link active options, we have to make use of it here, okay? Let's make use of it here. So after this active, let's provide router link active options. And this active options router link or active options i need to set set it for exact true okay exact true. and this should be enclosed within double quote okay that's it now save these changes now let's navigate to our application okay now here whenever i'm navigating to all events i'll click on okay see you can see that the highlighted css part which we have applied previously is getting disappear whenever i'm navigating to the other link from here i am navigating to create event previously what was happening both it was getting applied now what is happening only the current page where we are navigating to that is getting highlighted that's it this this is the thing which we wanted to see see suppose if you are clicking on cancel over here cancel it stays on the same page and the same link is getting highlighted with the background as well as the link of color text so this is how we are going to make use of router link active and router link active options to make sure that the page which we have already navigated or currently navigating that page has to be highlighted over here that link has to get highlighted whenever we are navigating among the pages in our web application so that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching please like comment and share this video and kindly subscribe to my channel in order to watch more videos